Nuclear energy has been on the rise lately. People have constantly been talking about this because of the depletion of fossil fuels and the whole Russia-Ukraine war. This has made nuclear energy a hot topic, yet most do not know much about it. And we often have many myths and wild guesses about this. So today, we have brought you 10 fun facts about nuclear energy that might make you more informed. So let's start with the number 10. If you are exposed to radiations, then get naked. This fact sounds very weird, but hear us out, okay? Imagine, do for some reason you have been exposed to nuclear radiation. It might be a planned blast or maybe some other reason, but you are exposed. Now, unless you are some creep who roams around naked on the streets, you must be wearing some clothes, right? So, our clothes absorb most of the radiations, so when exposed to it, just take them off. This will help you shed 90% of the radioactive substance you were exposed to. Now, when there's a radiation leakage, trust us, nobody would care if you're running naked to save your life. So, if some Karens and Kevins stop complaining, then don't worry. They would not be alive very soon because all of the radioactive substances on their clothes. At number 9, we have... It is not as uncommon as we think it is. Take the US as an example. Over one-fifth of total electricity supply to households and firms comes from nuclear energy. Over 100 nuclear power plants in the country continuously operate to provide electricity. However, they have not been set up very recently. This first one was set up before 1979 and was almost 40 years ago. The country has continuously tried to build more and more nuclear power plants, but not many have been built since after the 1980s because of the Three Mile Island incident. Hopefully, more and more power plants can be built with safer technology so that we can utilize efficient energy means. This reminds us that there is a possibility that nuclear energy can be much safer. Right now, nuclear power plants use the process of nuclear fusion. In this process, an atom is split into two, which create a bulk of energy. This then is processed and stored to supply energy to the public. Some scientists say that if energy is produced through nuclear fusion, where atoms are combined into one, the whole process of nuclear energy generations has the potential to be much safer. Unfortunately, they are still working on this, and no way has been developed to produce energy this way. Hopefully, scientists will come up with something soon. What do you think will make this energy form safer? Fact number 7 is that nuclear energy is in no way affected by the prices of coal and gas. The prices of coal and gas are sky high everywhere. The good news is that if we are using nuclear energy, this price does not affect us whatsoever. The price of nuclear energy does fluctuate from time to time, but it is not dependent on gas prices. So the fluctuations is not that frequent. The reason is pretty simple. You do not require coal or gas to produce nuclear energy. So this will never affect nuclear energy's prices. So even if a lot of people need to pay more money for electricity, the chances that are that those who have their house is operating nuclear energy will be paid the same amount they were paying previously. This brings us to fact number 6. The energy form is not completely renewable. This is a common misconception that everybody has. Although nuclear energy does not require coal and gas, it certainly does require some elements from the Earth. Most of the power plants operate on uranium, which is found deep inside the Earth's surface and has to be mined as well. It is the uranium atoms that are reacted and separated into two parts. This then produces a large amount of heat, which will produce steam. The steam is used to rotate the turbine generators and produce electricity. So, nuclear energy is a cleaner form of source than burning fossil fuels. It still involves mining and one day might even deplete uranium resources on Earth. At number 5, we have the chance of radiation. All nuclear power plants are built at least 10 miles away from any form of life. Most of these plants are far away from human habitations and are mostly built in remote corners of the world. This is done as a safety measure so that there is no radiation leakage to any public whatsoever. The funny part is that it is not nuclear power plants that are actually dangerous for us when it comes to radiation. Long-term exposure to electronic devices like phones, laptops, and tablets is much more harmful. The chances of us getting radiations are much higher from these devices than from nuclear energy plants. This is because safety measures are observed when nuclear power plants are built. But unfortunately, most often than not, we ignore all the safety protocols when it comes to electronic devices. Hence, it is not just the nuclear power plant we need to be wary of, but even the phone with which you are watching this video. In fact, number 4 we have how it is not as dangerous as we think. Yes, radiations is a huge problem and a safety concern when it comes to a nuclear power plant. However, if we look at the data, then it's up to you that fossil fuels are equally dangerous if not more. 
Ever since nuclear energy has been produced, there have only been three major disasters involving nuclear energy, the Fukushima disaster, the Chernobyl disaster, and the Three Mile Island disaster. While in the last 25 years alone, there have been 10 major disasters when it comes to fossil fuel energy. The largest and most states of them was the BP oil spill. Now the largest nuclear energy disasters is the one at Chernobyl in Ukraine. In this disaster, there were about 30 people killed directly due to the radiations and there was property damage of about $7 billion. While in the BP oil spill, there was a loss of thousands of marine life and some estimates shows that it resulted in a loss of 18,000 jobs and damage of property is estimated to be about a billion dollars. So which one, according to you, is more ferocious? Comment down below. In fact, number 3. We have changed nuclear disposal waste by the US government. Previously, the government used to dump all of the nuclear waste in cooling ponds and surface casks. Right now, they want to change it and transfer all the nuclear waste to a special site which is located in Yucca Mountain in Nevada. The locals and the local state are in opposition to this plan of the federal government. The reasons for opposition is a no-brainer. Nobody would like to have a nuclear waste dump near their houses especially when it comes to heritage sites like a mountain. If the plan is successful, the locals would naturally not be able to access the mountain, which might lead to the loss of jobs and natures to the locals. Furthermore, this will even lead to a loss of tourism as more tourists would now refrain from traveling to Nevada because of the fear of radiation exposure. So who do you think is right? The state or the federal government? Our number two fact is that the Mars rovers uses nuclear energy. In previous Mars expeditions, NASA used solar energy to power the rover. The solar panels had dust accumulated on them due to which there was less energy produced and the rover used to slow down. There were days in which it received less sunlight, so even that was a problem. NASA quickly found a solution to the problem and developed the MMRTP or Multi-Missions Radioisotope Thermoelectric Generator. This used the heat generated from decaying plutonium dioxide as an energy source to power the Curiosity rover. Nuclear energy can be very useful when it comes to space operations, don't you think? However, energy received from wells is not always adequate when it comes to some specific operations. Now this brings us to the number one fact. The biggest nuclear power plant in the whole solar system is not on Earth. No, we're not talking about aliens over here. The biggest power plant in the entire solar system is no other than the sun. Can you believe the most natural form of energy is a nuclear power plant on its own? This is because all the lights and the energy sun radiates is because of nuclear reactions. It fuses 620 million metric tons of hydrogen and makes 606 million metric tons of helium each second on its core. This whole process is very similar to how nuclear reactors produce heat and energy. So, which of these facts completely fades your mind? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Okay, bye-bye.